Hey everybody, by now you're probably aware of Autodesk releasing Revit 2023 and the Navisworks Manage 2023. Uh, Jeff Drews did a great video on his top five new features in 2023 for Revit and I'm taking an exploration into Navisworks Manage 2023. Um, some of the things that they added in, you know, as part of their release, uh, they've enhanced some of the features and uh, abilities going along with linking a native Revit file, which those are pretty cool, uh, being able to uh, have project information and uh, shared parameters also translate across the Revit files now. So that that's pretty cool. Um, and being able to identify more structural elements like getting material areas and volumes and then uh, structural usage properties as well. So that's that's a pretty neat feature. Uh, FBX files, uh, they've upgraded some of that stuff. You're able to do user-defined properties are, are now supported. IFC files, you know, have some general performance improvements. Uh, the other thing that's pretty good for those that use IFC files quite a bit is uh, you can do the creation selection set options. So that's pretty great. Um, and, you know, other than that, just some general improvements. Uh, one of the things that is going to be pretty big for any of us that use a lot of different viewports, um, I'm sure some of you have gotten viewpoints uh, or files from somebody else where uh, their you know, linear speed is at like 200 feet and you're just flying around kind of struggling with how to get through that. So instead of having to go through and update each individual viewport, you can select all of the viewports and then you can edit them as a group. So you can change all the linear speeds to whatever your your uh, preferred linear speed driving is. And so I think that's pretty great uh, for those that are utilizing SketchUp and uh, importing through that. Now uh, Autodesk allows you to, uh, the materials will translate across much more. Um, so just taking a look at this quick, uh, in this particular project I created a project parameter for Navisworks project parameter and you can see that that, that has come through. Uh, so that's a, a, a nice thing to, to see and verify. So unfortunately as many of you know there with the not a whole lot of updates to Navisworks 2023 for Manage, but there are some features that are going to be beneficial to share additional information between project teams and the form and, uh, and anybody else using the model. So uh, pulling in a little bit more information and being able to translate that across is pretty darn cool. But you know, there's still plenty of things that they could improve upon and hopefully will improve upon on uh, updated uh, Navisworks Manage packages. So hopefully we'll see that in the future, but until then, we're just going to deal with what we got. Anyways, thanks for watching.